Hello folks, my name is Mike Cannon, part of the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Group, and today we're going to do a short video on installing a Utility Services 6.2 service pack. Utility Services 6.2 updates. Again, Utility Services is part of the majority of the CM 6.2 templates. It's found in CM Simplex, CM Survival Remote, CM Survival Remote Embedded, and CM Only Embedded. In 6.2, we introduced the Utility Services Standalone Template. This was introduced so Communication Manager 6.2 Duplex Servers could take advantage of the Utility Service functionality. That template is called US underscore Simplex. It is also found as part of the Midsize Enterprise Solution 6.2 Template. PCN 1874 addresses the Utility Services 6.2 Service Packs. You can find that at support.avi.com and search PCN 1874. The service packs are posted to PLDS and can be downloaded from PLDS. The first thing I always do is I log into support.avi.com and I get the product correction notice. So I have PCN 1874S up and I'm reading it. It's for Avaya Utility Services 6.2 and it tells you which templates. Description November 15, 2012, Supplement 4 and it introduced 6.2.5.0.15. And it tells you it addresses a large number of security issues as well as matters in service pack 1, 2, 3, or 4. It's important you read that and you need to read through the portion of it because at this point it's telling me that this 5 is cumulative for 6.2. It isn't always. Our next step is to go down to the finding the installation instructions. So I scroll down to finding the installation instructions and it tells me a few things I need to do before installing it. First is log in to System Platform Web Console, so CDOM, select Server Management, select Patch Management, and we'll go through this process. Uh, under Manage, we want to ensure that the patch has not already been installed, and it also tells us please also remove patch 1, 2, 3, or 4 if either of these have already been installed and activated. So it's important you read that portion. As you can see, I'm in PLDS under Utility Services 6.2, and the different service packs appear. So you can see one at the top, you see four at the bottom, and I'm going to scroll down. So I scroll down to the very bottom, and there is 6.2.5.0.15. And again, it tells me, please see the PCM for full list of resolutions. And again, you can see I've already downloaded this, and I have it on my laptop. So the first thing we do is we HTTP into the CDOM's IP address on System Platform. We're going to log in as admin. We enter the admin password. That brings us to the System Platform splash page. And you can see we currently have the CM Simplex template installed. That includes the utility server. As you can see down below, the utility server 6.2.0.0.15. We next click Server Management as per the PCN instructions. We then click Patch Management. We click Manage. And once we click Manage, it basically starts updating the patches. This will take, as it says, could take several minutes. And the reason we're going in here is to check and see if there's any utility server patches per the PCN instructions. Because again, if service pack 1, 2, 3, or 4 were installed and activated, we would have to remove them before we installed service pack 5 per the PCN instructions. So there currently isn't a utility services service pack, so we're going to click download and upload. Next, we're going to scroll down and we're going to select local file system. Our next step will be to click add so we can browse to the folder on our laptop where the service pack is located. So we browse to the folder where we have our utility patch service pack 5, so 6.2.5.0.15. We highlight it and we click open. So we can see that the patch has been uploaded, so we're now going to click Upload. And then we start the process of the basically unpacking and getting the patch ready to install. Uh, the whole process takes a couple minutes. You can see it shows done. 
and then it flashes to the save and parsing patch. This may take several minutes. And then you actually see the patch. So here's where we're going to check and make sure we got the correct one, which we do, Service Pack 5. And at this point, we're going to click the Install button. And you can see it starts installing the patch. Patch 625015 is being installed. Please wait. This particular utility service pack took just shy of six minutes to complete the installation. And as you can see, patch 625015 has been successfully installed. Next step will be to click patch list. And it tells us updating patches. This may take several minutes. It actually takes a few seconds. So as you can see, it's retrieved all the patches. And you can see down below, utility server, patch ID 625015 is successfully installed. This is exactly how a CM 6.2 template installed in January 2013 fresh should look. You should have the system platform 6.2 service pack 2 patch. You should have CM 6.2 service pack 4 communication manager messaging 6.2 service pack 2 and the utility services service pack 5 patch. We have successfully installed the utility services 6.2 service pack 5. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentoratavaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Again, thank you for choosing Avaya.